The Honorable Dr. Melda. Thank you, Honorable. Can we just get... Okay, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Today is the 7th of November. It was exactly a month ago, on the 7th of October, when a group of Hamas fighters, some call them terrorists, some will call them freedom fighters, attacked civilians in the southern part of Israel. And the worst atrocities thinkable were perpetrated by this group of people. 1,400 Israeli citizens, civilians murdered, maimed, raped, children beheaded, put in ovens and set alight. That happened. That happened. The ANC, the ANC, how did the ANC respond? The ANC, the whole cabinet, came out with their scarves and they said, we support and we stand with Palestine. They said they support and stand with Palestine with the flags and everything in your hands. Not one word, not one word of condemnation of Hamas and these atrocities. Not one word. Only after, after Ahmed Abbas denounced Hamas, after that, a weak sentence came. Oh, the, the record is there and the minister knows that. A weak record came from the ANC. The minister today was more than normally a responsible minister with good proposals, creating an impression that the ANC is sincere in this whole process. No, you're not. While the Honorable Dr. Ndlozi was speaking and making an attack on Israel with all those statements, this side of the house, the ANC, were all nodding in support. All of you, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. There you go. That is the real ANC. That is the real ANC, not the, not the position taken by the minister today. What was the relationship in Gaza? What was the relationship between Gaza and Israel before the 7th of October? What was the relationship? Every day, every day, 20,000 people from Gaza went into Israel to voluntary work. There was a good relationship. Every day, hundreds of trucks, every day, hundreds of trucks went into Gaza to take goods and to bring exports from Gaza back. That was the relationship. But then Hamas decided to destroy all of that. Now, the minister, you have now, you have now recalled our ambassadorial staff in Israel. And you said it's for consultation purposes. It's not for consultation. No, you can take the telephone and consult. You can take a Zoom call and consult. You've drew, drew those people. Why? To send a message to Israel and to send a message to your supporters as well. But you know what? Your message reached further. Today, two senators in the U.S., Senator Chris Coons and Senator Jim Rich, reacted to that state of yours. The fact that you are with Russia, the fact that you are with Hamas, the fact with, that you are with uh, uh, Iran, you went there. Today, they've reacted by saying the Ahua process, they will have to take a course of corrective action in Congress. That's the reality. That's, you say it's okay. You say it's okay. Now, Honorable Minister, unfortunately, I don't have the time to, to discuss all these things with you. I've got four minutes. But let me conclude. I have reason to believe that you've got good contacts with Hamas and you've got good contacts with Iran. Oh, yes, you do. Now, let me tell order, you. Order, me honorable tell members. You, the conflict can allow stop. Allow the speaker to conclude. The conflict can stop today. Today. Three conditions. Three of them. The missiles fired from Gaza must stop. The, the missiles must stop. Secondly, all hostages must be released immediately. Thirdly, the perpetrators of these atrocities by Hamas must be banished. I hope the minister listened. I hope you will convey this. I'm telling you, there are three. You don't listen to me. You don't listen to me. You don't have to listen to me. The ANC is on the wrong side of history, and that's why you will be rejected. Thank you very much, Honorable Dr. Melda. Why to the ANC?